Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to Naza's Kitchen Fun. Today I'm sharing a really delicious sweet dessert recipe with you guys. And this is for my shai tukre. I pray that you guys all enjoy this. It is like a delicacy dessert served after iftar or on Eid special occasions. And it is so tasty and so good. It's basically bread pieces that are fried then soaked into a sweet shita syrup. And then once you plate it, you top it with a delicious milk mixture. You can make like a rabri sor or you can just make a regular milk mixture, however you prefer. And then you let it chill or cool in your refrigerator and then you serve it um, with your favorite toppings like pistachios, almonds, and nuts. So let's get right into the recipe. Here I have my milk. I'm going to start off with my milk. I've added some saffron, sugar, a few ilachis, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my evaporated milk. I'm going to let this boil for about 25 to 30 minutes and let it get real nice and thick. I'm going to have all the ingredients in the list down below for you guys. So don't forget to check it out. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, friends. On the other side, I'm going to put another syrup that we're going to soak the bread in. That, in that syrup, I'm going to add water, sugar, a few ilachis, and a few strands of saffron. I'm going to let this boil until we get a nice thick consistency of the syrup normally for about 20 to 25 between 20 to 30 minutes so here's what our milk milk is starting to look like after about 15 20 minutes it's boiling you can see the sides coming together and stuff at that time I'm gonna go ahead and add one can of my evaporated milk and then I'm gonna let this cook again for about 25 to 30 minutes now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my oil I'm gonna cut my bread pieces you can cut them square like this or you can cut them into triangle shapes just like this so what I've done is I cut them into triangle shapes and I just toasted them like fried them and it takes probably two seconds to fry on each side and now I have my syrup that was cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes. I got that ready, my serving plate and the bread. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and let them soak in there for a few seconds on each side. And then you just put them into your serving dish however you'd like to. Any sort of serving dish that you'd like to plate them in that's totally up to you. So just do the same with all them, probably five to six seconds on each side like this make sure they all get that yummy sweet syrup all soaked into the bread pieces and i was kind of struggling here <laughs> recording with one hand and doing this so i thought i'd use my tripod here but yeah do one piece at a time and you can do them gently to make sure that they don't break and like i said you guys can use the square pieces you guys can use triangle you guys can use any sort that you guys would like to So once all the pieces are done, they should look beautifully just like this. Now what I've done is I've just added some chandi kibarke and this is our milk. It has cooled down just a bit, but I was too impatient to go ahead and put it on top of the, the bread slices. So just go ahead and get your milk and pour it on just like this. Now you can make your milk a little more thicker, it's up to you. We still have a few hours until I've thought and I know this is going to really thicken up in the refrigerator so that's why I didn't want it to become that thick. But you can really make it like really really thick if you're going to serve this immediately to be like a rubbery type. And that's what, uh, what you have to do is you just have to let it cook on slow flame like for a long period of time but yeah guys top with your favorite nuts or pistachios you can use the chandi kivarke if you want to for design if not no problem at all and just dig in with your friends and family i pray that you guys really enjoy this sweet dessert recipe if you guys do please don't forget to share my video with your friends and family like my video and don't forget to comment to let me know what you guys think friends stay tuned for another amazing recipe just like this coming up on naz's kitchen fun